I really properly realized it when I started revising for my January exams and I figured out that I couldn't really understand what I had written uh, back in mid-September when I started the course. And this is when I realized that I really needed to start typing my notes early. And I also thought that, you know, reading your notes, writing your notes, typing your notes, uh, if you use all those ways to memorize them, you will end up knowing them so much better than if you just uh, try to read them a thousand times or just type them or just write them. So I think it's very good to use different methods, which at the end will make you memorize um, the material much better. I feel that one of the strategies which actually worked for me uh, was one which I um, undertook relating to my one of the courses which I took and that was as soon as my class um, like was over I used to go back to my room and then formulate all my notes class notes and all the slide notes and all the lecture handouts in one place so that I don't need to visit it again I mean that was done and dusted for all uh, forever I mean I just need to do that in exams time because I thought that there's so much to study like once you are done like once the lecture is over you need to structure it in a way which seems to you be like plausible enough for you to prepare in exams. Structure the notes in such a way that it would either be subtitled, so for example I could be looking just for notes on texture or style and I would have a word document with those subtitles and every time I find something that is promising, I would input it under a certain subtitle. So in that way, when I print it all out and I'm writing my thesis, if I just need a quote on texture, I have somewhere where, you know, it's all there and you can just pick and choose. Um, alternatively, when I was writing my essays, I would structure, I would have a rough structure of how the essay would go and then compile my quotes according to the structure of the essay. So in a way, you already have an essay of quotes before you start writing your essay. So that, that, that's my cheat sheet tip. Probably a good advice is to try, if you haven't uh, developed your own style yet, just try different things and see what works for you. Because there can't be just one way of doing it.